For infinite continued fractions, again, the reason I'm interested in this is it shows continuity on the number line and shows a, res it shows a pattern to the continued fraction, which is not otherwise available in the uh, decimal representation. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Again, you have it a pattern for, say, the square root of 2. And uh, also, uh, in a more complicated version, you can get a pattern for pi. This uh, particular illustration I got from uh, Wikipedia, I think I might have the... This is the Dedekind Cut article on Wikipedia, and there's the illustration. And it uh, turns out that the numbers they use... Okay. Um, the numbers they use here are... Uh, continued fraction or a continued fraction. There are other methods of uh, demonstrating this, but continued fraction has the illustration in which I can use this grid app for. The first thing you notice is that this is really not quite to scale. If you actually used a scale, 7 fifths would be 0.4 and 0.5 would be 3 halves. So it'd have to be all sort of conglomerated in there, a little too close to work. So here's the continued fraction. Again, the way it works is this, it provides a sequence of rational approximations, each of which can be represented as a rectangle. When divided, it will provide you with a closer and closer approximation to the square root of 2. And the Dedekind cut uh, just indicates that's, well, that's a uh, irrational number. Other methods ex that exist for this are the um, Babylonian method and uh, Newtonian method that I'm aware of. I'm not very proficient in either one. But I don't have any visual demonstration of those other than the algebraic uh, solution. Uh, here we go. Square root of 2 approximately equals 1. This starts the process. You rewrite this as 1 plus 1 half. You get 3 halves. Now we're working top to bottom on this. Now we've got 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 half, which is... 5 halves, 2 fifths, 5 fifths plus 2 fifths is 7 fifths. Converts the last mixed fraction to an improper fraction, then inverts it. We've done this before. And here, this is where I'm going to stop. There we go. Continued fraction as a nested sequence of intervals leading to a point on the number line, which we'll call an irrational number. Works something like this. And then it goes on forever. This is where it was first uh, stated, as far as I can see. Richard Dedekind, uh, Continuity and Irrational Numbers. And he said, if we knew for certain that space was discontinuous, there would be nothing to prevent us, in case we so desired, from filling up its gaps in thought. And according to Corant Robbins, you could use Dedekind cuts, convergence, which was Cantor's uh, terminology, and or nested intervals. He, th he, he states they're more or less equivalent for this purpose of proving, proving continuity of the number line. That is not entirely undisputed. These are the two best articles I've seen on the, uh, arguing against the continuity of the number line. And this is the best uh, philosophy I have found the existence of math is, does not depend on a satisfactory answer. Constructive intuition always remains the vital element. Another, another method of demonstrating it, you take the uh, square, revolve the diagonal around. Now you've got a square plus a remainder rectangle. One is the whole number representation, the remainder is the fractional representation. You divide that. Now you get two squares. The width goes into the length two times with a remainder rectangle. In the case of this uh, this continued fraction, this uh, square root, you always get the same dimensions of the, of the remainder rectangle from here on in. And it goes on like that forever. Okay. Now here the sides of the uh, rectangles are all going to be multiples of that unit value. You can sort of see 3, three by 2, 7 by 5, 17 by 12. There we go. By placing the uh, rectangle in the uh, 
vertical direction, you can uh, demonstrate the tangent, which is something about like this. Tangent being the opposite over the adjacent of this angle, 3 by 2, 3 by 2, and uh, 7 by 5, 17 by 12, etc.